everyone, welcome back to Oversharing is Caring. Um, this, sorry, this, is fine. Uh, this week's topic is a rugby union freshers tell all. And we are... We're treating you this yeah, year. Yeah. We've got guest after guest after I guest know, after I guest. It's, and it's they crazy. don't stop. It's crazy. Um, so we have two lovely rugby union freshers. Very nice. That's <laughs> modest of how I was describing it. Good. What do you want me to say? Oh. <laughs> uh, introduce yourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm drink, I'm still. Oh, hi, I'm Callum. <laughs> I'm, I'm Evan, you are right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Tell us a bit about yourselves, you know. We'll talk to all them. Um, first year fresher at the uni. Started, came straight in, played rugby. We're both doing paramedic science, aren't we? So, yep. up to our eyeballs in work, but yeah, enjoying uni life. Fuck that. What time do you have to wake up? It's Not nine till four to every fair. day. No, it's not. Do you have to do placement yes. as well? Yeah. 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 When do you placement. start? We've done it yet. Yeah, we've done yeah. six weeks. Well. 12 hour shifts, days and nights. You don't get paid for, do you? Nope. That is outrageous. <laughs> get our travel covered though, slightly. But only, only oh, wow. percentage of yeah. it, isn't it? They'd be a real nice job. That's, so. that's so generous yeah. of them. <laughs> Who's it? I thought you got, you got paid like the full thing back. Nope. <laughs> only part of it. So what do you do, just sit in an ambulance and just witness real life? Pretty much everything a paramedic does, but getting watched over. First oh. year, we're, it's like a scope below a paramedic, then second and third year, we could do it all pretty much. So. Fairs. Six weeks of uni, then we were straight into it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> do you do like three nights on, three nights off? It tends to be like two days on, two, two days, two nights, or like three days, two nights. And then you could go from an ambulance or you could be in an FRV. So in one of the rapid response cars. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so you go in there, that's a two-man crew, a paramedic and you, or you go in a three-man crew in an ambulance. Oh. So. I went in one straight out the other. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joe, get the first, do you want to ask the first question? Yeah, you, go, you both go out on Wednesdays, right? Yeah, we do. How do you deal with your, how do you deal with it on a Thursday? Mm. It's painful. Yeah, it's been... A few bad episodes. One Thursday, <laughs> I, uh, one Thursday, I woke up um, about ten to nine, rushed over to lecture, finished early. I finished about half ten, and then as we're walking back to our com, which is literally just across, um, I suddenly didn't feel very well, <laughs> and in the middle of the walkway, just projectile vomited <gasps> all over the everywhere. floor. It was. Everywhere. It wasn't. It, it, it was. It was everywhere. like a projectile Did spot it like on times. the floor. Yeah. And then I was outside by the door, um, throwing up in the bush for a good five minutes before I <laughs> managed to make the short walk up to my room and then carried on throwing up in my <gasps> toilet. Oh, there. God. But no, Do you not throw up when you get in? Hmm? Do you not throw up when you get in so you don't throw up the next day? No. Not like, really. That's not <laughs> what people do, no? No. Oh. No, I don't shove my fingers down my throat. I don't. I don't do <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, I really throw up from alcohol unless I'm really bad. And the night before it was really bad, so I throw up quite a bit. Yeah. I actually don't know how you do it. I've phoned in six uh, uni so many times. Or like what would Joe would do? There'd be a minor incident that happened like kind of related to him. He'd be like, yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's Last closer. year, last year um, a girl got hit by a car. <laughs> and he went, I'm really sorry. I'm going to my car. Like, I can't come in. Oh they were God. friends. They weren't good yeah. friends. I don't think Joe was that impacted by it. By it but he was like, I'm really, I can't come in. Like, <laughs> been at any morning. It's awful. Yeah, any excuse not to go to uni? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you think about like... Rugby culture, because a lot of people like don't are quite hesitant to join because it's like a big oh stigma my god, around like it. there's a big stigma about it. Mm. It's like um, it's fine, it's fine. Like, I've heard a lot worse, at, like at other unis especially, for, like freshers doing stuff there. So I think we're quite lucky in that sense. Mm. Yeah, I love it to be honest. It's class. I'm really up for it going out, getting. It's it's part of it, isn't it? You go to uni, your first year rugby fresh, you're expecting for that stuff to happen. So, mm. and it's there is a line, and the line is drawn, so it's not too bad. But is it? Uh, I've heard some uh, god awful I've things. Awful no, the, no, I've no, seen no. awful things. From the, there is bad things, but there could be a lot worse. Yeah, no, like I've heard stuff, and I'm like, that would never happen. Yeah, here, like, and I'm like, oh. And so bodily fluids get consumed by someone else. Yeah, I have a whole pint. Of <laughs> yeah, a whole pint. Of yeah, that, that, that that, that's not that bad though. That's not bad compared to other things. Mm, I've seen. I saw three boys got on each other, 
all got their asses out mm. and they poured the pint through the assholes and then the boy at the bottom had to drink it. I've done a few of those this year. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so there's one poor guy who came once to one social. He's came to one and he turned up at like 10 or 11, like 10 ish. Oh, late. And he had his girlfriend with him. Huh? <laughs> and he came in. We'd never seen him before. And he just came in. So he ended up having. Anyway, he came in and he had a cone on his head the entire night. We found the cone. It was on his like head. Like a full on traffic cone, not one, like a little one, like heavy thing on his <laughs> head. Just like <laughs> his neck. It was horrible. And then now, we had, our, we had our first social last year and two freshers came and they never returned again. Some <laughs> left through that social. I remember because we were in. Yeah, because message. they went on their phone and someone messaged their mum a not very nice thing. And they were like, why have you done that to me? And they, never, they went to the toilet break and that was it. And then they came back. Yeah. What's the worst, so what's the worst thing you've done as a fresher then? Um, I don't know if I can say. Mm. Um, debating saying it, you know. There's been a lot of running whilst holding foods in weird places. And yeah. I mean, My imagination's going wild. What? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> you, I can't really go into detail because like it's bad but no I, like, I want to see what what my worst one was but you'll have to I think you'll have say to say it or bleep out say it it's the person as well okay right yeah yeah he just got naked sat on me and started mate oh you'll have to do my hand out as well <laughs> <laughs> fuck off oh, no, no, no 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 it was oh. it was literally <laughs> was, this that, was this that social? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, nothing like that. Soft, quickly down, one or two off. <laughs> oh, my. my guy has no shame. Um, <coughs> you've heard about him fucking garlic bread, right? No. Yeah, you heard that. Oh, <laughs> he what? on multiple occasions. Twice. twice. That happened twice. He's shagged garlic bread. <laughs> like full on, gone for it. Mm. Yeah. No, you can keep oh, that no. bat in. Keep, keep, keep that, that in, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and one time he was having a wank and he dislocated his shoulder during the wank. So we had, <laughs> so we had, so we had to... What's he doing? Like a full on? <laughs> no, no. So he had I wouldn't put it past like, him to be He had to like <laughs> hit his arm against his door to put it back in so he'd mm. carry on. Carry on? <laughs> <laughs> that was his <laughs> main concern. He's got commitment. Probably. Yeah. Such yeah. a pod, yeah. you know. Luke. Yeah, yeah, you should have bread. That's cr- ask him. That's It's wild. He's very, he's very open about it as well. Like he will tell he's you about everyone knows about things. It. He is. But what I would say was, it's a race. It's a sprinting race. Oh, you like is this being beeped out or not? Nah, should be okay. Should then. be fine. Yeah, I didn't do it, so it's not. There my was. <laughs> put a, God, cover your back. Put a pickle, <laughs> pickle between your ass cheeks. Do like a hundred meters sprint back. Loser has to eat both pickles. Oh. <gasps> But it was like a, it was like two men on each team, so you'd have to swap pickle halfway through. Who lost? Uh, you won, didn't you? Yeah, it was plums and it, not okay. fully inserted in, right? Just between the arms. No, no, just between. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <coughs> oh my Christ! But I, I know there's a lot more. There's a lot worse to come. We've got. We've. I think it was worse last year as well than the year before. Yeah, until like when the third years were fresher. Freshers, I think it was a mm. lot worse. Yeah, to be fair. But well, they like, had yeah. Ryan Taff and Nick on their team, your, your team. I feel like this year, though, we're more close as a team, so we also like, don't want to be like pricks to each other. Whereas other years, it was like big divides in the team, mm. so they'd happily just be dicks to well, each yeah, other. Well, yeah, they ended up, people stepped with each other's exes. Mm. Not okay. <laughs> heard, about that. heard all about the stuff that happened <laughs> in Bournemouth Sevens. You're going Bournemouth Sevens this year, aren't you? No, we got exams. Yeah, paramedics first years. <laughs> we have exams. <laughs> Par- oh paramedics first year. Harry didn't go last year. Paramedics first year has got two oh. exam weeks and the weekend in between the two exam weeks is born the seventh. Oh, that is so sad. That was meant to be, that was a really good weekend. I didn't go. <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, yeah, Joe, <laughs> I, I, I was Can invited, I say, but I couldn't go. Joe, that whole weekend you were fucking livid watching any social media that was part of like, the yeah, we don't need, You don't need to say that, but. Do you go this year? No, I no. Why not? Because I, I don't play any team, sports yeah, team. You'd be like a social player, couldn't you? I could be. But then I don't like a society that you're going with. So yeah, no, they're not going with them. They're just tagging along. Yeah, so they cheer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Thanks for that. Had <laughs> to double check. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't hit everyone and cheer. Just a few people. Right. Just a few people. <laughs> Most Valid. of them. <laughs> um, yeah. someone wrote, Callum, you're from Dubai. No, kind of. 
No, so I grew up in Abu Dhabi when I was eight. I left the UK and I moved to Abu Dhabi because my dad was a pilot for Etihad. Oh, wow. So I was living in Abu Dhabi until this year when I came uni. Oh, wow. Is it nice there? Yeah, warmer. Not warmer. Why did you come to Northampton? Yeah, uni? Wh- of all Why places. did you go from Dubai to <laughs> Northampton? <laughs> I get asked that a lot, but like, I don't know. I just kind of clicked buttons and got accepted. Just close your eyes and just hope for the best. What uni am I going yeah. to? I don't know how. I don't know how I passed my A level. To be fair, this is meant to be the one of the best unis for paramedics anyway. Yeah. It was um, really? top five when I applied. Interesting yeah. stat for you there. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that, that means so much to both of us. Like, we, thanks for that one. Yeah, no problem. How would you say that being part of a sport, like how has, what? How has being part of a sports team helped you in your first year of uni? Oh, it's really good. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, wait, no, I'm gonna go in depth, gonna go in. I don't know, I think it's good. Like, I think I've met so many more people through societies. Like, I think I would have just been sat in my room all the time. Cause, um, yeah, I don't think he liked me when we first met. No, 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 I did. Do you live in the same flat? No, no. We live in the same building. We, he used to live in Scholars and then turned it to the first day. Hell on Ooh. earth. That is hell on yeah. earth. That's a track as well. Exactly. And I was in nine to four every day yeah. fighting yeah. to get on the bus for 40 minutes. <laughs> so I was sat there. Good. And I'm glad I moved when I did as well. Because like after, obviously, I turned into boot boy. So that oh, wouldn't yeah. have been fun oh, God, on the yeah. bus. Anyway, back to the question. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, it's really good. Um, other than like you got all your mates on your uni course of a new, but it's nice to get away. Plus Wednesday nights out uh, I think be one of the best things about uni, so. It's character building, isn't it? Apart from the Thursday 9am's, but. Yeah, I never so went to We get in trouble if we don't go. Do you really? Mm. Well, yeah. Saving lives, writing articles, very different things. Yeah, the thing is, if we miss one lecture and it's about giving like CPR, then we're kind of fucked up. But that's we? like the practicals though, like I get that. But it's like the lectures, they still get a bit mad. Yeah. Mm. Bioscience, isn't it? What did you say? Bioscience, isn't it? Bioscience? All about the anatomy and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay, <laughs> so there's like a, I guess it's like, it's cringe as it is, like, is there like a brotherhood for like with union or like any society? Would, what's your opinion about sleeping with exes from your team? I personally would never do that as anybody, anybody <laughs> else would say, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> No, um, <coughs> nah, this, have you not done that? I thought like you've done. Oh, that. oh, oh nah. is he part of this? Is he part of who mm. anymore? Who? No, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. no. Part of who? No, they're not. Come on, no, put two and two together. Who? Who? No, 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 no. He's not part of you anymore. Yeah, Wait. but they. Yeah, but it doesn't matter actually. <laughs> I was speaking about. I haven't, I haven't slept with anyone I who's had a boyfriend that's been on the team. You have. Yeah, oh, I haven't. Know about. Have you, Callum? No. Okay. If the you o- both if look so suspicious that like you no, haven't no. done it. No, no, no because I, I got to think about who he slept <laughs> with, and then put two and two together. Then right. I get. I forgot both asked us already, but I was probably drunk. Um, what piece of cutlery do you resonate most with? What does that even mean? If you wanted to be one piece of cutlery, what would you be? No, like, a what fork. You, like, well, no, no. <laughs> no, yeah, like, I, I would choose a fork. That's what I eat. I eat with a fork all the time. No, mm. but what do you like? feel most connected to? Connected to? Two this piece. has got nothing to do with me. I didn't no, come um, this question. Yeah. Ask everyone. I'd say a fork because, I mean, a fork's just really useful, isn't it? If you don't have a fork, you're fucked pretty much. So. <laughs> exactly, that's why I say I fork agree. as well. Fork. I have spoons. You, I've not used them. No. If you say if you say spoon, I think you're lucky just a wet wipe. No offense, so it's a spoon, but what's yours, Joe? Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Why? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Why? Um. Because mm, it's a bit bendy, like me, I guess. Oh, okay. oh, there, you go, there, there we go. go. <laughs> yeah. Is a spoon um, bendy? Huh? Yeah, mate, you got a the curve. The curve. Yeah, I swear they all do that though. That's yeah, the whole point. Is, said spoon. <laughs> a spoon is literally like uh, bent. Yeah, but a fork go like that, then it's just like that as well. <laughs> yeah. Not always. <clears throat> Not forks you're using, but they no. have a bit of a bend. Mm. Yeah, but a spoon has more of a bend. Oh. It's a whole okay. semicircle. Yeah. Who's your favourite vet? 
Harry, by far. <laughs> nah, he's, he's, my, he's my dad anyway in rugby, but he's second year on the course. Me and him get along really well. And mm. pretty you much work with each other in... Um, uh, Oh, is it just completely separate years? Yeah, second and third years go on placement at the same time, but first years don't. Oh. But they can't put two students together on a job. Unless we both get called to like a big RTC or something. Mm. Road traffic collision. Road traffic collision. I like that one. So, so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, me and him, definitely. Oh, fuck. I don't know. No, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> like... You're really trying to save yourself the court for next week, aren't yeah. you? No, I'm not. I just don't know. You're, you're in a, a really big pickle. Why? No, yeah, who are you ringing of your vets to help you? Like, who you, who would you ring first? I don't know. <laughs> Oscar's got to be up there as well. Oh, I the love nicest Oscar. kid I met. Yeah. So Gen sweet. Really. Oscar Vibu Bear. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's too nice though. I reckon he's got a really dark side to him. Do you think? All right. <laughs> I think he's one person that I don't think has any, like, Ill intention, like bad bone. No, I, I agree. I don't think so. Oh, no, no. I, I've like seen him drop a few people in this time. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just <coughs> gets angry and gives him a shove. Okay, who's your least favourite vet then? Liquid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's a presentation. laughs> no, it's like running thin. Just It's not a running thin. You just don't like him. No, um, he just gets abused. <coughs> that's, what Sam Cal- that's what Sam Cal said as well. Yeah, it's got, yeah, it is liquid. Especially when he gets pissed up. He just becomes like a... Like a, just that annoying person. You know when you go oh, on a night out and he's mean. No, he's just like, he's all over you and he's just too much. You can see that, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. I love him when he's sober. Mm. Yeah. That leads nicely on to the other one that Evan wrote in. Oh yeah, Evan wrote a question for you. We are changing the words a bit because it yeah, makes you sound awful. Because <laughs> the, the, the original I question... Didn't, you <laughs> said we wouldn't write like questions for each other. Because the original question made it... Like it made it seem like your, a crime. Yeah, and it was quite an issue. But so going <laughs> off Sam Cowan's episode where Sam Cowan thinks you're in the closet, um, <laughs> is it true that you might get a little bit touchy feel of the boys on night out? No, I don't think so. I completely <laughs> disagree with this. <laughs> I say, and I don't know where it's come from. Evan said, just, is it true Callum gets touchy on a night out? And I thought, hmm, that's a bit accusatory. I, that's why you said the questions were anonymous. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I said to Evan, can I, is, it, is there like something behind this question? Oh, so you didn't even try and hide it. He was like, no, that was me. I was like, oh, okay. Um, he has fondled my ass a few times on the night out. I, I can't confirm he does get touchy. <laughs> Mate, you do, don't lie, you do. As soon as a few drinks get in you and you start dancing as well. Bloody hell. Just happy. happy to be <laughs> Have you had any um, night out horror stories? Sticking with the fondling in the club. Mm. <laughs> um, yes, I, I did go back to said girl's house and... <laughs> oh, no. It's scarred. It's <laughs> one way to put it. Lowest point of your life, would you say? <coughs> Very. I, I would completely agree with that. Why I did d- you do it? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Was there, no, was there none of your mates to be like, what are you doing? Stop it. No, I think remember. they were. I'm pretty sure he got warned a few times. Oh, okay. Oh, he wanted to do it then, you're saying? Ooh. At the time. Who warned me? <laughs> everyone. No one. <laughs> no sure one. everyone. No one, because nah, cause nothing happened. And then I'm pretty sure it wasn't until we were like leaving that it like kicked off. Not kicked off, but like it happened. Um, but I was severely intoxicated and can't recollect it, thankfully. Poor person. <laughs> oh God, who is she? What's your, <laughs> what's your horror story then? Come on. I don't really think I've had any. You haven't lived them. Everyone has one. Mm. True. You fell asleep on my toilet, haven't you? Yeah, but that was after the bus social. Yeah. We had to after a rugby five game. liters of Frosty Jacks in like an oh. hour on the bus. And it, it'd be, it was sat on the bus. So it was like really warm and we pretty much had an hour to down the whole thing. So he felt completely fine on the bus. And I'm a and lightweight then, anyway, to be fair. As soon as we got off the bus, I can't remember it. And then Frosty's does something to oh, you. Oh, I fucking love Frosty. Never we were supposed to get to social. And hey. No. I think two pounds for a bottle? <coughs> two pounds? The, the litre one, yeah. That's uh, cheap. No one's drinking 2.5 litres of wine. But I think there was like seven freshers that went, were supposed to be going to social yeah, and only one, one of them turned up. Yeah. Uh, but no, every, I don't know. I think Lakshay and Ladyboy went. No, Lakshay did. Cuddle did Clark... Fell out, um, passed out in Senate, didn't he? Oh, I threw yeah. up in Senate as well. Threw up in Senate, you fell asleep on the toilet, cuddle Clark, 
fell asleep in, said it, it had to get carried home. Yeah, it was. By Oscar. It was rough, yeah. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And then Eric was screaming help in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> well, as <laughs> your um, bedroom nightmare, no, your um, going out nightmare <laughs> was said girl. Any bedroom nightmares? Yeah. Literally just that one. Um, <sighs> was it a bad shag? I can't remember. Oh. I genuinely can't remember it. Um, no. We've had some god awful ones, like people eating another girl out, waking up with blood all over their face. Yeah, yeah. That's like, nah, man, nothing we've like got, that. We've had loads yeah. of them. We've had bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that bad. I don't think I've had any. Yeah, we're well, you. just so so good in bed. No, no, you just had a quiet. <laughs> you just no. had a quiet uni life, haven't you? You haven't. Oh, I'm more like that one. Humble. Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't phone. Who has the bigger cock? <laughs> <laughs> he messaged me about this last night. He was like, "Oh, they're going to ask us this. They're going to ask me this." Yeah, it was asked. Go on, then you say. I do. Yeah. <laughs> we'll stop there. You don't need to get your whole cock size. <laughs> I was hoping you were last year. That's the answer. That's fine. <laughs> um, the people wanted to know. Uh, what did you get the fat straights before we came on? Bass. <laughs> Shag, marry, kill, people in your team. What, just? The people, yeah, your bears. Three of them? Yeah. yeah. That's normally how it works. <laughs> shag, marry, well, kill. Well, there's more than three. Yeah, so you have to pick one that you shag, one you'd marry, one that you'd kill. Hmm. I've got my through. I'd um, kill liquid because <laughs> it's liquid. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'd marry. You'd make the best. I feel like Oscar. Mm. Mm. Oscar would be the best. Yeah. Husband. And um, I shag uh, Mammy. He's just a very beautiful boy. And that ass on that kid, mm, very uh, nice. Does he? Yeah. Have a look at him. Hmm. I'd also kill Liquid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. And I think I'd marry Cuddle Clark. So I think he'd just he'd cuddle me a lot. It'd yeah, nice he's not in it for the married. sex, is he? He's, no. he just loves a good cuddle. Yeah, yeah. And then I think I'd shag Oscar. Oh, oh. just because I can't picture him shagging anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's so horrible. No, not like that. Like I don't know, not like that. Like I just think he's like a virgin. But like, because he's so innocent. Yes. Mm. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> um, God. Who dresses the best out of you two? If we're very different in how we dress, aren't we? You're more of a comfy person. Well, I'm in joggers and a hoodie. You're in cargos and an actual top. Yeah, I mean, it depends what you go for. Callum's just... On a night out, who's dressing the best? I pretty much wear the same three things, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've not got much. Um, I dress the best. Back yourself. I dress the best. I disagree. Oh. I disagree with your disagreement. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I tend to buy more, like, smart yeah, clothes and, like, shit. clothes that are... More like, I don't know, not in, but... What, in fashion? You people mean? would rather wear my clothes than they would Callum's, I think, because Callum doesn't... No, they would rather <laughs> wear mine because mine are comfy. All right, on a night out, mine. What did you buy the other day for £50? It was a You were like, oh, this is so cool, jacket. this is so cool. I'm going to wear this all the time. And you, you must be like, later in the day, I'm, like, I'm going to go return it. I'm not sure yet. I what might is do. it? A varsity jacket. What colour? Oh. Like, pur uh, black, purple and white. It's got white sleeves, black, and then like purple, right? <laughs> I sold mine. <laughs> <coughs> Where'd you get it from? Boohoo. No, it was Primark. Primark. Maybe. It was an NBA one. It was Lakers. Oh, fair enough. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. actually quite nice, but not sure yet. 50 quid in Primark? Nah, good quality. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. That's, quite, that's extortionate. <laughs> nah, that nah, is, but I mean, I worked a lot through the summer, so I could treat myself now and again. Go. Oh, okay. So, you are an inch inside of your mum. Oh, and your dad sake. is an inch inside of you. What way are you going to get <clears> out? I, I could answer this one quite easily. Yeah. Go on, you go first. I want to see no, how you I explain wanna, it. No. I don't want to... Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Theoretically. 
Go. No, that's not easy. It's not an easy answer then. Well, you've got to get out of it somehow. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the easy way out. I would go back into my dad because my dad is dead. So it's ashes. Yeah. Your turn. Oh my. You really don't know what to do in this situation. Your turn. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, wait. Um. <laughs> Always when you ask the people. Always fucking uh, ask the people. <laughs> I was like three times. Have you? Yeah. Um, I do apologise. So no, it's fine. I wouldn't have said it if it wouldn't. Fair enough. Easy way. That smells so good. Oh, oh sorry. Is it, is cut it out. Cut it out. Blow it out. <laughs> it is it's uncomfortable. Fine, it's fine. It's like, you know we don't have to react to it. Is that, is that question done or do I? You've got to answer. Still. Yeah, you've got to answer. <clears throat> yeah. So that what I move it into my mum. Okay. Oh, I do that as well though. If I if I had a cock. I, my dad is not fucking me. That's disgusting. Sorry. What's so you can let your mum fuck you instead? I'll come out of my mum. What, you go back in? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to choose one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next question. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> Wait. Um, oh. Describe your um, describe your team in three words. Like you have to sell it. Sell it to me. Yeah. You want Joe Lovell on your team. Three words. Mm. Brotherhood. <laughs> <Okay>. Wow. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'd say funny would definitely be up there because we all just get along really well. Great laugh. Um, well, wait. <laughs> um, what else um, you got? <laughs> it's not very good, is it? Oh, really? Really sad. Um, oh fuck! So we've got brotherhood and funny. Jay, would you like to join rugby union? Um, brotherhood. It's hard funny. to put it in three words, though. Really, isn't it? Okay, do you want a sentence? Oh. Undefeated. Oh, there, we go. Oh, there, you, there go. you go. Saved yep. it. On top with a little hyphen in the middle. Yep. Um, six from six. Is that good? No, Taylor Cater, brother. Six from six. <laughs> six, six from, from six. six. Yeah. What? Six from six. Six games, six wins. Undefeated. Uh, Very much. Um, no. But Brotherhood. Surely, surely that sells yeah. it to you. Undefeated. Yeah. Big piss ups. Um, you probably wouldn't get done too bad at social. Why's that? Well, because you're not exactly a fresher, are you? But mm. you're still new to the sport, so. Well, still new to rugby union at this uni. <coughs> be fair. Oh, no, you'd get that D. You played rugby league. Yeah. Speaking mm. of, what are your opinions on rugby league? I've got nothing against them. It's just funny oh, to go to the pitch. That's so sweet. It's just, fun to go to, it's just fun to go to the pitch and just... <laughs> nah, some of them are pricks. Nah, a lot of your boys stand there and just like shout horrid things there when they lose. Huh? Or, well, no. As maybe. they should, they're whack. Well, like, the Sorry. Union, like, your little turn up to a league game and just like... High part of the other team. Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. Like the other week when we I came, all you were week. doing you was tried to play this on me. No, oh, no, you saying you don't do it. Next to their I kicker, put, and sat next to their kicker, waiting to go. The kick. all you I was doing chair. was giving Three the kicker kicking advice. That's all I was doing. You did, yeah, you did. But I mean, you you're watching the game. You got to make fun of it somehow. Whether you got to cheer. Yeah, mock the other team then, not the, the, the uni <laughs> team. And what are you cheering that Rugby League do in a game? Oh, bad. <laughs> I think they've been unlucky with the, with the freshers or like the team they've got oh. this year. It's not as strong as what's previously been. I think they're in a tough league <coughs> because there's no other, like there's not many um, unis that do Rugby League. But on the other hand, yeah. the, the, there's some boys in Rugby League that I really get along with and they sound, so speaking to them in the toilets in Elysium. Make a lot of mates in there, bud. You, yeah, you do, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> do you? No, you actually do. Yeah. Pissed up, yeah. Oh. Definitely. <laughs> Just chat to anyone. Mm. Fair enough. Cute. Anyway. <clears throat> this is a rogue one. Um, <coughs> what's your best pickup line? <gasps> Oof. I this will most likely be a TikTok reel, so make it very good. Yeah. So we can get see what the girls okay. think. <laughs> Have you wait like before you say? Have you ever actually used a pickup line? No. Have you? 
I'll just tend to just go in for a kiss and see if they swerve. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's true. It's worked every time so far. I see really heinous ones. They go, just testing out some new lines. Do you like them? They're oh, really I bad saw lines, one as well. though. I remember it. No, that's it. No. Um. <laughs> You've got one, say it. Oh, <laughs> what? I don't know if I saved the TikTok. It was one. <laughs> um, I got it. Oh, oh God. Got them. Um, oh, the shit. <laughs> um, <coughs> go up to a girl, introduce yourself. You go, Hi, I'm Evan, but yeah. you can call me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't use pickup lines, so. But that's the one you thought, if I was to use one, that's what I'd use. That's the most recent one that I've seen, yes. Oh, oh, I've got one, I've got one. Go on. Evan, if you're a pirate, would you rather have a parrot on this shoulder or this one? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, that one. That was quite good. That was, that good. was good. Thank you. That one wins, unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry, Evan. No, nah, you, you can take that, mate. I'll have you later. <laughs> Should I do my nitty one? Which no, that's what? horrid. What? Oh, I got a better one. Oh, saved by the bell. You're there. Walk up to Kilgo. Are you bleeding? Bleeding gorgeous. <laughs> Smooth oh, as fuck, I'm telling you. have been saying that for ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim. <coughs> I say, get your hand off me. Thank you very much. <laughs> nah, I kind of went in for a kiss after that. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Stop it. Someone asked, <laughs> when are you two going to become official? Oh. With the eyes. Yeah. What do you mean with the eyes? The eye emojis. The eye emojis. Like the two eyes like looking across. <laughs> what, like the cute ones? Sir? For fuck's sake. Just Mate, the just the two eyes looking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, ask him. Evan, why are you making it official? Should, should we tell them? <laughs> yeah, well, it's not going to happen, sorry. We're, oh. we're more of um, friends with benefits than going to make it official. There's no benefit. Um, he's my passenger princess in my car, that's his benefit. <laughs> uh, I drive you about. You're just scared when I drive. Yeah, because the one time he drove me, he hit a curb on the roundabout, so I shat myself. Roundabouts are scary. How long have you been driving for? A year and a bit. But oh. I drove my mum's car for like a year, wow. which was an automatic. <laughs> but it was like double <laughs> the size of the car he's got now, so. Mm. It was four by four? Yeah. It was a, like a mum mini bus expedition. Oh. Proper football mum turning up. Mm. <laughs> How long have you been driving for? Two years in March. Two years next month. Oh. Four years. Okay. Crashed four times. <laughs> One a year? <laughs> One a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Aqua play my car. Oh. <laughs> Flying. <laughs> Fuck my car up. Probably like wrote it off or? Um, is she still kicking? She is still kicking now. Um, crashed into someone completely by accident. because my You hit someone. I've hit two people. <laughs> the first time, mm, don't really, it wasn't really my fault. Um, <laughs> it never is. <laughs> and the second time, my music was too loud and I was singing and got distracted, so I went to the back of someone. <laughs> but he didn't claim because I don't think he had insurance on his car. Yay. Yay! <laughs> do you ever worry that stupid shit that you do as a fresh will come back and haunt you in your adult life? Um... I don't think I've done anything too stupid. Uh, no, and at like socials is a big thing. I like no, no phones. phones. Mm. So um, a lot of the stuff that does happen, it can only like be said by words. So, so there's no video evidence. So. No proof didn't happen. Exactly that. Off the records. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's I think I'm kind of worried about it, but not worried about it, but like with um, trying to be a paramedic. There's a lot on like, oh, it's a professional course. I think I'm, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't speak. <laughs> no, I think it'll be fine. Nah, we haven't done anything bad like that, so. No. At the moment, we're fine. Yeah, but then if yeah. it's in first year, well, it's like three years later. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to say, oh, sorry, you're a first year uni student. You get off with that one. Yeah. And it's, if you create enemies, I guess, if people are out to get you when you graduate. Mm. Like you got us our first strike with the union. Your what? Really? <gasps> there was a there was a um, a social where 
uh, we had to dress as Romans and like the the vets. That was were, only a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. The vets were like the Greek gods or whatever. Of course, they fucking. And um, <laughs> basically, um, it was like a lot of stuff added on it into the end, and then um, yeah, it was just like as Romans had to conquer so- something. So then um, I went out, started to a statue, and just stood there. And then the bar was like, "Don't do that. You can't really." So they just said, "It's too much. Like we're giving you a strike. Just calm down." And that what, was it. it so next, next to the statue. statue. Yeah, yeah. Like, huh? but it's like the statue had like a that one platform around it. Yeah, you know oh, the yeah. big one outside. So like it was, it was like it wasn't on the statue itself, but it was like on like the area of the statue. If that makes sense, it, they were just like. <laughs> I, <coughs> we threw we up threw outside up that statue. Next to a dead pigeon. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was more towards like middle of the like social so it was still quite quiet they were all stood out by the door so they were literally just saw it first oh okay okay it it wasn't bad it was more just like behave calm down this one now so oh okay it was cheers getting like hit on the floor and everything so cheer or chair cheers Cheers. yeah cheers yeah so like we were up on the step part there was cheers being pushed down and like going all over the place so cheers yeah I think it was just your accent. I was like, did you say cheer or chair? Stools. Stools. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) (coughs) Um, Who do you think the most underrated team is at uni? You can't say yourself. Team. What even is there? Rounders. Don't. How many games have you won this season? How many games have we played this season is also the same answer. (laughs) Zero. The self-defense of like tournaments. Or like archery. Futsal is supposed to be really good. Yeah, futsal. They're football. supposed to be really good. Men's football have gotten better this year. They have. Yeah, they were actually look really good when we watched them, to be fair. They weren't yeah. half bad, so. I'd, I'd say futsal just because I know they're <coughs> on like a good winning streak as well. But, I mean, futsal's not that. What's futsal? Is that the one where you catch it and kick it? No, that's handball. <laughs> futsal's just indoor football, no? Yeah, 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 indoor football. It's like five a side, isn't it? So like in the sports dome, it'd just be like oh. smaller goals in there and you just... Oh, yeah, kick it which is the one where you ca- where you pick up rum of it? All of that. It's not Gaelic, Gaelic, Gaelic. Oh, you're thinking Gaelic football. Oh, I'm thinking like Gaelic. Uh, Aussie, oh, yeah, it's yeah, Gaelic Aussie football. football. Oh, uh, yeah. Where well, you got like run and bounce it as you're running. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. I'd love to play that. To be fair, yeah, it seems good. I'm surprised they have a society for that. To be fair, yeah. But they have like a Disney society. <laughs> a Disney, Disney. Yeah. Have they actually? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah one um uni and a wordle. In one uh uni you can do a degree in Taylor Swift. <laughs> Imagine writing your dissertation about that. Oh my god, I would not on Taylor Swift actually wouldn't. Well, what do you get out of the end of that degree though? There's surely that you can't do anything with a it. First in Taylor Swift. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't actually know. And just be a fan or something. <laughs> what a life. What a life. I don't actually know. I would I think I could get a degree in Harry Styles. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Please don't get her started on this. <laughs> yeah, just, just nine grand a year to learn about Harry Styles. Yes. She's Call paying Wikipedia nine grand a year and she doesn't tell her. No, no, I do. Yeah, but I, I then mean, I have like a qualification that I stay in uni for, for that degree. <laughs> Bloody hell. I Jesus would. Christ. I would. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask it. I don't want me to put this one in, but I'm going to have to. Um, Callum, I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> what did I do? Have you um? No, it wasn't what you s- did. Someone put in. Have you recovered from the time L groped your testicles? Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I don't even know. What, I didn't. You just gonna say you didn't mean to? Or so you, <laughs> you were on Ben's like piggy, he was pig- piggybacking piggy. Back Cuddle in. Clark, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. To British 26. And his jump had risen up. And he was like, oh, could you just like put it down for me? And I was like, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Oh, I was in my boot. I was in my boot. So I was like, yeah, sure. I so I reached up and I'm like, where the fuck is this like top? She just and like, under. I've gone right under. <laughs> Why are you pulling the jumper down from the front rather than just grabbing <laughs> the back or the sides? <laughs> Deep down, it's, you just wanted a good feel, didn't, didn't you? I didn't know him. I didn't even know him. And his- You his, did know him? <laughs> 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 I remember talking no. before. No, and I pulled Look down. Look how defensive <laughs> she's and getting. Went, and he went, oh, that's my balls. I was like, I am so sorry. I don't even know your name. Oh. Hi, I'm out. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so that's what you're into. You do you, but. I didn't know. I just couldn't find the t-shirt. 
find something else. Though. Yeah. Well, at least you didn't grab the cock. Yeah. There we oh go. <laughs> 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 they were in a case against me then. <laughs> <laughs> you never told me about that. <laughs> but now you know. Yeah. <laughs> Someone hates Al. I forgot about that, to be fair. Yeah. Sorry to remind you, I and guess. Then did, and then we did gas chambers together in British 26. Hmm? Gas chambers. Oh. Was this on the pub crawl? Yeah. Oh, oh, the gas chambers are horrible. Was that the first time we've done one? Yeah. Oh, they're fucking vile. Mm. I threw up after. What is it? I don't know what it is. Banana Sambuca. Yeah. They light it on fire and they put a little bit on the chopping board. So like the steam and they catch the steam. They prize the alcohol. Yeah. And you do the, this warm shot and then you inhale. It literally just burns your throat. Or you snort it. It's completely up to you. Yeah, you could horrid. snort it. But that's, that's crazy. I was on three in my life. Mm. I've got to ask, ha, have both of you bought our drinks on a night out? Yeah, oh, no. you, <laughs> I said, yeah. I messed you about this the other day. You caught me out the one night, didn't you? Like, something happened, and uh, I, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, it was like, oh, buy me a drink at the bar then, or something like that. It definitely was. And then all of a sudden, I'm at the bar with you buying you drinks. <laughs> yeah. I just. Yeah, but then the last time, you actually offered to get me a drink. You, I didn't ask you. I was just in a nice mood then. <laughs> You bought me like four or five drinks before I ever bought you one. No, that's and then I, I, I felt bad and I went, true. oh, it's I need true. to buy you a drink. That's not true. No, you you came up to me like for like three or four weeks in a row. You didn't have a rum and coke. <laughs> and said, here you go. Yeah, well, no. she probably got some other poor boy to buy her that drink. <laughs> you, didn't she? Uh, no, I think one was like a Jager bomb. And then you both bought them lovely chocolate orange VKs. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, they yeah. didn't like they it, so disgusting. I finished it. And I was like, oh, I'm just kind of taking your drink, so I'll get you a drink. That is how it started, and then you just kept buying me. No, drinks. that's not. Oh my god, it's not even. I had the money like that, and that's they're why. horrible. Those chocolate orange yeah. VJs. No, oh, I love them. They're great. The person asked us twice, "Do you want? Do you want orange?" And we were like, "Yeah, orange, orange," and we got chocolate orange. They're lovely. No, horrible. I saw them. I was like, "They're great drinks." No, they sound disgusting. No, I'm, I'm sure we're getting free drinks. It's, it's a very great game. <laughs> I just work. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm waiting for DBS to come through all right, Joe. Let me know. Okay. And then I'll be working. What's been your favourite moment of uni so far? Um, I like the bar crawl. Yes! yes! I think that was When's the next bar crawl? Hmm? When's the next bar crawl? Easter. Bar when everyone gets their student loan again. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> when are tickets on sale? So right, stay tuned, you'll find out. I've, I've been told minutes. that, yeah. No. Well, everyone has been told it technically. You'll find out soon when we try for me and it again. Yeah. I was bad that night. Oh, Drunk? Yeah. Because at the start, you gave me that Jaeger, didn't you? Oh, then or you, you gave the bottle to Ladyboy, and then he got the spout on it and just poured it straight into my mouth. I was gone. It was horrible. Mm. It was, that was not that was wild Jaeger. It wasn't even Jaeger, was it? Yeah, it was Guns some like Al. Aldi Jaeger or some shit like that. Fake. Yeah. Evan, <coughs> why do you not think people wouldn't let you date their daughters. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was just a pick of a bad pick of a good bunch there. Yeah, but even then, why? <sighs> no reason. Um, I think they, they would ju must just be in a bad mood if you have training because I'm really like, respectful to women. I'll treat them well. But um, Sounds like you're reading off a script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you rehearsed this? No, I... Um, <laughs> I got stiffed, pretty much. Um, all the boys there were pretty much in relationships. The real person should have been Bubbles. We all know it as well. Mm. Um, but then I was there. People just know I have a good time on a night out, so that's literally all it was. Someone called you on Saturday. I don't know who it was, but the, the new Ryan Taff. <gasps> oh, you don't want that title. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever meet Ryan? You didn't meet Ryan, did you? No, I met him. He came to on a night out on a Saturday. He was out. Yeah, you don't yeah. want that title. Someone said he's like like a Ryan Taff 2.0, and I was like, Phew. no, because I haven't got with anyone in ages. I actually haven't. So, so it won't stick. I hope. <laughs> yeah, you don't touch wood stick. Don't you grieve? I think. No. You'll you'll catch up soon. You know you will as well. What, are you talking about body counts? No, just like... No, I was talking about that. 
No, I wasn't. No, it was. Um, I'm not about to argue about? with stat counters. Don't worry. No, I mean, look, like, Callum's enjoyed himself more on a night out now than he was at the start of the year. He cares less now when he goes out. Fairs. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Do you think you're like, I don't know, your time, like, time at uni's been because you've joined your society? Yeah. Like, it's made it enhanced, it's made it so much better. Yeah. 100%. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! <laughs> the the main like. <laughs> oh my god! Cool. Got it. Perfect. Sorry, carry on. The main like event of every week is social. Mm -hmm. Pretty much playing sport that day, and then getting out and going to social. So it's definitely something to look forward to. But yeah, would, I feel like it'd be boring without society, wouldn't it? Yeah. Especially rugby uni is really good. So <coughs> without society, I think you'd have a boring life at uni. I did. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. My first year was shit. My year first year was society. locked down, so. Cool. I just feel like I wouldn't know anyone. Like, Oh, yeah. Being in a society, you do make more friends. Like, like I know everybody. so many people through societies. Like, I feel like I would just know people on my course otherwise. Yeah, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? If you don't join a society. I just love, know I just love knowing people. Yeah. It's quite a small uni as well, isn't mm. it? So yeah. if you're well known in the team or people... You meet one or two people, all of a sudden you know like half the uni. Mm. So, but no, it, it, I'd definitely say get into society. It's funny because you go out on a Wednesday and it's the same people every Wednesday. So you do something bad on that Wednesday, everybody <laughs> knows about it. Like, what, what I hate is like a Wednesday and there's like oh like charity event on Thursday. I'm thinking oh god, go and see them all. We smashed our charity event. Well, you were supposed to do it. Supposed to do it, but you did. What did you do? Bad so talent. You, so you think you could cheer? Yeah. Oh, so you think you could cheer? Yeah, we smashed it. it. Huh? Did you not see I'll it? Show, I showed you it. We had like 60, 70 theme. Me and Ladyboy did the oh. dirty dancing scene when I got lifted up. Yeah. Tens all around and we raised the most money. We smashed that. We well, came third, so. When it was actually, when the league were at their prime. Oh my God. We would oh. win. We would actually raise the most I've money. I've seen the videos of You would have absolutely destroyed it. Nah, not even the Our cheer routine was so good. good. Magic Mike. <laughs> 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 just. Magic Mike? Yeah, more or less, isn't it? I've no. seen videos of Joe like getting down on the floor and doing all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah, we are, it was umbrella. Umbrella. Yeah. In yeah. cheer outfits. Mate, I've got the video I'll show you afterwards. It's funny because Union video. came on before us in like shitty cheer outfits and they're like, oh, we're gonna win. Yeah. We came on and we were like, nah, fuck you. And normally you uh, league used to pay their way to just like pay to win. We deserve that win. But that win was so deserved, it was crazy. Did you get the judges' votes as well on that one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was two. There's two. I think, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to perform with the night. Hey. That's because <laughs> <'cause> I'm gay. <laughs> he did do really well, so. Yeah. Well, you went for it. Do you drink beforehand or was it sober routine? I actually was kind of a Karen. I was like, no one drink beforehand because I don't want you to. <laughs> I want to win. It is scary. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, if you're lifting and you're fucked. I did a few shots of VKs, dabbed it all before I went on. Mm. That's a Confidence boost. Yeah, definitely. It was yeah. trouser rip, dressed I up as I a- I just didn't eat because I was hanging. I was really, really badly hung over as well, and I oh. thought I would be jumping around. I, I, like, I'd be in bed, I'd turn over, like, oh, I'm going to be sick, and I'm going to be like, running around in yeah. this shit. I, don't know. I love charity events, that's so fun. Are you doing, when's your next one? Or you've already done it? Yeah, we did, Beer's Got Talent. I was a judge for that last year as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who won Beer's Got Talent? Oh, Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Is he on futsal? Futsal? He said to do with football, I'm pretty sure. Is it? Futsal, I'm gonna say. Futsal, yeah, I think so. Because no one else turned up, it was just him and Sam and Catfish on. Catfish and Bottom. Hmm? I believe that was the I don't know, I didn't know the song. I just know he got on the piano and started <laughs> singing a really heartfelt song. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, should we ask them one more question each? Yeah. Who's the best on your team? You can say yourself. I think Oscar. I think he's all rounded. Mm. Good player. It, it depends I think. To say who's the best on a team in rugby Is difficult because you've got like forwards and backs That are completely different mm. Okay. So like you, you've got Oscar who's a really like Well rounded player like He's like a great athlete Can do pretty much anything You've got Taylor who's just a unit Huge You've got Joe Ossiv who's also <laughs> a unit What's so funny? <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> no <laughs> 
<laughs> but then you got like Harry who who could like shot and he could also like get a turn. It's it's like hard to say, but there's a load of like really good boys. Mm. You're a very strong team this year. Yeah. Very strong. Really lucky, yeah. Can't wait to see you in cross codes if you're playing it this year. Yeah, there was talk about it not happening, wasn't there? Mm, but so um, hopefully it does. Yeah, but then part of me's like, what's the point? Yeah, but okay, right, here's a question, Joe, I'm gonna ask you. You can ask me what if I if I come back? No. Oh, no. I'll say no. So yeah, like we're going to watch it. Who am I supporting? Mm. Union. Sorry. <laughs> Union the past, what, the three way. years, I've re- I've gone, like, head to toe in green. But now I... Well, what like, are you going to do, head to toe in brown? <laughs> oh, God forbid, no. It's more of a maroon than a brown, yeah. I'd say, actually. Yeah. Either way, it's black like, fa- oh, black-facing like, yourself. Like, you, you're yeah. head to toe in brown right I now. I had a green jumpsuit I'd wear. I'd have, like, green... Why would, you, <laughs> face <to> face? <laughs> Why would you go in green? That's the colour of the rugby league. Oh. We're gremlins. Mm. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I used to love like, rugby league. They've gone off the rails. Yeah. They've gone off the rails, unfortunately. I've got a question to ask, Joe. Oh, <coughs> someone also wrote in, what age were you when you first, oh, first yeah. saw a penis in a rugby setting? 18. That's late. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, back of my old club, I think it was, must have been like under 16s or something. We like had a change room, all got in the shower. And at that point you were like wearing boxes in the shower and everything. Mm. And then we walk out and then all of a sudden the ref just comes in <laughs> and he was some like old man or something, oh. just walks in, just bollock naked, <gasps> just uses a shower behind all of us and just shower, ta- a towel over his shoulder, just walking and just having it all on show. Fairs. How point. long have you played rugby for? I started in under nines, I think. Year I seven, think secondary school. Oh, okay. So I, is that under 12, 12s, under 13s, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Do you want to say any final words to why that p- people should join your team? Uh, round your team up. Just round, just round your whole experience up. Best society there. at uni, by far. Mm. Uh, we're undefeated. Socials are class. Really gr- good group of boys as well. Genuinely just, yeah, the best society there is and rugby is better than other sports so in my opinion that's round is quite fun fuck off out yeah it, it, it'd be good though if you actually played a game <coughs> yeah, if you had you more players let us know when we uh, when you play your next game we'll get a load of the boys down big no, turn no 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 that's so fun why not nah. that would be hilarious yeah no I don't know <laughs> the competition I've, always, I've always wanted to get pissed up watching a rounders game we're thinking of doing like a, like Do a, a charity tournament rounders. Each team... Like, we'll I think that would be good, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Get a team in there. Get a few teams in there. Yeah. yeah. Make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. Can I ask one question? Oh. Um, do you have any words of wisdom? Full stop. Oh. It's better to come in the sink than sink in the cum. You're welcome. <laughs> I was going to say, like, a good proper one then as well, but I don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> You, you say one equally is unhinged then. Well, I need to think of it first, but... Okay, what would you have liked to have been told then by someone as a fresher? Like, just some words of wisdom. Oh, you meant like specifically as a fresher coming to you, dude? No, not really, but I'm just trying to help. Just really oh, help. just try to Have fun. Um, Fuck bitches, get money. Try to society. First year doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, <laughs> you, I think it does. Yeah, yeah it really does. Um, just enjoy it, don't... I know so many people have come to uni and got like bogged down. Have fun. Have fun. Original. I like Don't stress fun. about it. No. Yeah, no. You could always drop out and go to a different uni at some point, can't you? So it's not the be all and end all. Powerful mm. words, that is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for <laughs> that. I, I think I prefer the, the sink one, though. Yeah. I'm just out there, you know? <laughs> it, it is good, isn't it? Wait. It's not wrong, though, is it? No, it's so true. Uh, shout out to the neighbourhood um, for using their barbers. If you can get your first haircut for five pounds. Whoa. Woo! You can, and it's actually calm haircuts. I wouldn't know personally, but they do. It's is, it, is it walk-ins or is it booking only? Bookings. And they're all really hot, so. Yeah, <laughs> I've said that before. They are, oh, they are good oh, looking men. The, 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 the barbers. Hair. <laughs> the haircuts are also very hot. Thing? I thought you meant like the slots, like they go really quickly, like to book a haircut. Ah, uh, no, to uh, be fair, some of them do, but um, yeah, no, I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they are lovely. But yeah, 
So thank you so much for coming on. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Was it as thank bad you. as you thought it was going to be? No. no. Enjoyed it, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, it was good luck. Yeah, yeah, it was going to be horrible. Yeah, we don't thought... tempt them, please. <laughs> no, it's done now. It could have been. Could have yeah. been, but we didn't. Yeah. Well, anyway, you two should take note of this. We're going to give you some dates now. Yeah. Um, live podcast. We're bringing it back. Yeah, to celebrate our... I've got to hit the camera now. Yeah. Celebrate our... One year of Overshining is Caring. We are doing a live podcast. Uh, the, the theme is the, party. the roast of me and Al. <gasps> oh my God, yeah, it's a live roast. It oh, is a live roast. So if you don't know what a roast is, people will come go up watch and... Our, go watch our one. People would come up and insult us. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Yeah. That is on March the 12th at what? Bar Rumba. Again. Yeah. Um, so we'll, there will be a ticket link. Tickets are free. Um, yeah. But we just need to know how many people are coming this time. Because last time we were shitting ourselves, like, is anyone going to turn up? Like, but we had about, like, what, 50? 50 people, yeah. 50 people turn up. So, yeah. So, yeah, get your tickets uh, soon. Soon. And then your next date is... Bar Crawl. I the forgot about that crawl, one. Yeah. Your Easter Bar Crawl. Tickets go on sale next Wednesday. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is when they go on sale. So you can buy for your partner. Lovely gift. Bar Crawl is April 17th. Live podcast is March, March the 12th. 12th. So get your tickets. And Everything. tickets are on sale for the Bar Crawl on February 14th. There we go. We shall see you next week. Bye, <laughs>